All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Pharaoh Shuffle. So I've seen a few comments asking me to do this. Now, this move, I would say it's kind of more on the difficult side, only because it does take some time to get used to and then get fluent with it. But I'll be showing you guys how to do this and how to do a little one-handed uh, bridge that goes along with it. So that is basically the move, um, and I'll be showing you guys how to do that right now. All right, so the cool part about this is this gives you an opportunity to, let's say, you know, like show... Uh, your spectators or anybody that you're with that you actually have some skill with some cards so basically it looks like that you are just pretty much intersecting every single card essentially so when the cards go together like this it's a little more it's a little more precise than a riffle shuffle because pretty much every single card gets interwined so um, it doesn't have to be perfect every single time that you perform it a lot of times people uh, you'll see people doing perfect feral shuffles and that's where they take exactly 26 cards and then they do it and then every single card does get interwined but like I said it's not really practical but you can do this pretty much anytime you want to or need to and this is what this is how you're going to do it so um, to start this off basically you want to be able to get the grip right so it would look like this what I do is I take the deck and I kind of put it sideways so um, it kind of looks instead of the deck being more in this grip I kind of have it like this kind of like an elevated mechanic script except for my hand is now um, flipped over and the deck's kind of uh, perpendicular to this table. So what I do from here is I'm just holding the deck kind of like this with my thumb on top, my three fingers here in the back, and then my index up top here. And then what I do is I move my pinky out of the way, my bottom pinky here, that moves out of the way, and I use my right hand, and then I use my uh, my index finger, and I put some pressure pushing down on the deck so I can riffle down and get about half of the deck. So it doesn't have to be perfect every single time. Like I said, guys, you, you're going to want to use this for practicality, not really, you know, always getting 26 cards, but obviously that's kind of that's kind of like the end game, I guess. But let's say you have just about half the deck. And what I do is I come away and I use my thumb and my ring finger here as I'm pulling the deck away to kind of square these up. I'm just kind of squishing the deck here, squaring up. So this way the edges are lined up and now we have to get the top lined up here. So when I pull the deck away, all I have to do is kind of uh, click the bricks a little bit and this kind of squares everything up and now it's going to be even. And now this is how the grip is in my, in my right hand. So I have at the bottom of the deck, I kind of have my thumb here at the bottom left and then these two fingers, my ring and my, uh, my middle finger, these are kind of holding on, my pinky's kind of off to the side. And now what you can do is let's say this is kind of where you want your thumb to be. So it's not really all the way at the bottom, but it's kind of like three quarters of the way down. And then you have your pinky, and this is going to be holding onto the bottom for support. Now what you do, once the edges are all lined up, this is how my left hand looks. I have my, my thumb here at the top left, kind of around the middle-ish. My index fingers up top and these three fingers on the side. Now what you're doing is you're going to be touching the corners of the card. So the corner of this deck and the corner of this deck and what you can kind of do is what I do is I swoop in so it kind of goes angled downwards a little bit kind of like this and then I will tilt the deck up so this way I can kind of get like a shovel action but what you can also do when you first start out is you want to be able to touch the very bottom card here and the very bottom card here and the pressure has to, the pressure can be really light and you can see what I'm talking about all you have to do is kind of touch these corners of the deck and already at the bottom, you can kind of see the pharaoh action going on, where just those cards are getting interwined. And to do this slowly, I'm going to have to kind of sway the right deck a little bit, left and right. But once you get fluid, all you have to do is find the spot and then apply some more pressure. So to do it slowly, when you first start out, all you have to do is lightly touch the bottom of the cards. And as you can see, they're already starting to pharaoh. And I go left and right. You can sway that. Left and right, you apply more pressure towards the decks. You go more left and right. And my grip is kind of the same. It's pretty much, I'm not really loosening up my thumbs. I'm kind of keeping it steady. And just like that, as you guys can see, the cards have now been pretty much out here. You can spread it out and see that every single card is pretty much interwined. And then you can square this up. And then I'll teach you guys how to do the fan as well, or the bridge, I mean. So again, we go back here. You tear about half the deck out. You square this up. You use my thumb and my ring finger here to square the sides up. I get the top sorted out. And then again, you come over, you just want to lightly touch these cards. At first, you're going to be lightly touching them, and you sway that back and forth with your right hand so that your right hand's kind of doing this action and pushing in at the same time. And what you want to do is you're going to be using your index here to be applying pressure towards the deck, and then your pinky 
at the back and that's going to be pushing the deck in as well. So now you have both your hands gripping the decks, you push the cards in a little bit, and your grip with your thumbs should loosen up a little bit. So this thumb and this thumb, pretty much they're going to be a little bit more loose, that way you can actually push the cards in together. And at this moment you're going to use your index finger, this is going to come underneath the deck to support it. And now you should be able to hold the cards like this, so this way your thumb is putting a lot of pressure, these two fingers at the back are putting pressure, this way you can hold this stack of cards and you're going to come over with your thumb and your middle finger. You're going to make sure you have both ends of these. So you have your thumb here, your middle finger here, and these are going to grab on, but not really push in too hard. What you're going to do is you're going to hold the tension here with your thumb and your middle finger over here. You're going to hold that tension. In the moment you have the cards, you want to feel a little bit of tension, like I said, like this. And once you're ready to bridge the cards, that's when you let go with your thumb and your middle. So you have the cards here, you have them up top, and you guys can see the fingertips are still dangling over the cards a little bit. And at this point, you let go with your thumb and your middle finger, and it's pretty much like a standard bridge. You grip it, and you slowly let the tension release, and then the cards will bridge. So hopefully this tutorial made sense for you guys. If you guys need to do or need to see that again, go ahead and rewind the video. But essentially that is going to be that this is it for the tutorial. And this is how you guys can do the Pharaoh Shuffle. So I hope you guys like the video. And as always, thanks for watching.